only Carol and the girls at, um, at Diggers. Probably gives them a little bit more confidence now heading, um, approaching finals. So they believe that they they can now cause some damage and, and, and really start to look at it as a big possibility now. Yeah, I just think they need to get that shooting position settled, who, mm-hmm. who will be their shooter to support Amy. Um, I think they've had a couple of changes in and out. So, yeah, but it's a good result for them. It keeps them building. Another good result. We saw uh, the young guns over at the Hawks push the, uh, the Tigers. Yeah, they look. I reckon Wood and uh, Heskett have been going really well and we've seen some improvements. To shoot 43 goals is, is amazing. Um, mm. And uh, Maddie Starenstein has been playing really well as well. Um, and they've brought some of their kids through. Mackenzie Brown's had a few runs up in there as well. It's going to be best for the future. She's playing on the 17 netball and was in our on 17 rep team, so she's had a really good game. But Lansfield, they're just, um, they've got really strong goalers they can bring in and out as well. Um, They've, uh, Jordan Finesse has been playing a few games up there, come up from B grade, um, and she's a, a really talented player as well. And Alan's been giving those girls the opportunity. But they had some, um, I think they had a couple of players out with VNL as well. But um, yeah, it's still a great result. Uh, good victory uh, by Lansfield. And they don't know if they can get second spot. I don't think they will from Romsey, but. Um, um, yeah, I think they might hold on to third, but we'll have to wait and see. Well, third versus six uh, in week one of the finals, yeah. probably. Uh, if, at this stage, they're looking to face Diggers Rest, and uh, and, that, and the two of them have had some pretty good battles over the season anyway. Yeah, yeah look, so. I think if, if if you look at the season now, if you look at the, the final um, six, if, they'd be fantastic games if that's how they line yeah, up. Yeah, well, you'd, you'd have Masson and Romsey, Lansfield and Diggers, and then Centrals and Rupa. Yeah, it'd be unreal. So, well, but, you know, that could change. But in, anyway, any of those teams that would line up against each other, they're going to be good games. It says a lot about where the competition's yeah. heading. Uh, we, we will make note that uh, Romsey did defeat Sunbury Kangaroos on the weekend as a due to a forfeit. Yeah, unfortunately... Um, Sunbury have been struggling to get an A-grade team on. They've had a few injuries and a few illnesses, and every week they've struggled, and they, to the girls' credit, that they have. But last week it just got too hard, too many injuries, had a lot of, lots of illness, and unfortunately they had to um, had to forfeit. So Romsey got the four points, um, which is, you know, it's most probably just going to reflect in their percentage, but they're still most probably sitting comfortably in second. But the mm. good news is, is uh, Kangaroos will bounce back and have their A-grade team up and running again this week against Riddle, so that's good. Exactly. As we turn our attention to uh, this week, it is a split round uh, over a couple of weekends, and uh, six-place diggers take on the uh, the improved Hawks who are sitting in the ninth spot. Yeah, I think Woodend will most probably run um, uh, um, diggers a little bit this week. Yeah. You know, I might even pop over and have a bit of a look at this game. Um as I said, they're, they're really improving, but I think Diggers, they need to get this win. They'll be set, and I think they'll get the victory. Yep, no arguments there. Third place, uh, Lanceville take on eighth place, Rock Bank. Yeah, we spoke about the improvement of, of um, Rock Bank, but I know um, Lanceville need to get some players uh, qualified. I'm not sure if Stacey Gannon will play. When she's in the team, she makes a really big difference in the shooting circle. Um don't know if we'll see um, young Save Williams back again. I'm not sure if what's happening there. She hasn't played the last few weeks, but she's that tall target. And T, is, uh, T, haven't seen her, but there's been some VNL games on as well. So she will hopefully come back into the team. Big task for Rockbank. Um, I don't think the margin will be huge, mm. but I think Masson, oh, sorry, Lansford will get the win. With you on that one. Um... Summary Kangaroo is going to bounce back onto the court. They take on Riddle. Yeah, so this was uh, this is one of the change games. So uh, Summary Kangaroos, I think, was supposed to take on Wallen or Wallen mm. this week. Yeah, uh, Wallen, uh, Broadford. Broadford, Broadford and uh, Riddle taking on Wallen. So the game is this Saturday at Boardman um, and Young Guns against Young Guns because they've mm. got some young kids, both of them, and I think Riddle will get the victory. Yep, no arguments there. Uh, blockbuster game, fourth place Mountain Centrals take on second place Romsey. Yeah, so this is the week after, so this is the split round. I only have two two rounds there. Um, Mountain Centrals versus Romsey, wow. Mm. This will be a great game. Romsey are going to have a few restrictions on them as well because there's a Sovereigns game the next day, so Kaylee Armstrong will be limited, Danny Davidson will be limited. Um, so, oh, gee... I just think that all of Romsey's talent will be too much for for Centrals, but it'll be a pretty close game. Centrals could cause an upset. Don't think they will, but it, 
um, they're the sort of team that can pull something like that out yeah. and go Romsey. I'm going to struggle to go against you there. I think, as you say, Romsey's depth is uh, is quite impressive. Uh, one of some of the best in the competition. And yeah, uh, Al McDonald's just been on fire for them. She's just such a, a wonderful player. Really impressed with her in the mid court. And then she can swing into defence. And then, you know, they've Romsey can swing that defence, those attack line through. You know, they've got three quality goalers in. Millie Brock, Hope Evans and Chelsea Ross. You can just pit, put anyone there. I think the challenge for them in finals is going to be who to play permanently because yeah. you need to get some stability in your lineup now. Maybe just get one player to, in there and then change up the other. Yeah, maybe over the yeah of the but you know, it's hard for Millie because she's a, a tall girl and um, it's hard for her to play out at goal attack the whole time. And Chelsea's had a wonderful season, and but Hope's been shooting exceptionally well. And, um, you know... Millie's an now playing a champ player. She's just quality. Hard problem to have, isn't it? It Jesus, is. It's tough. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and uh, one of the blockbusters, you, you touched on it before, and we're seeing a bit of a rematch of this one. Uh, Rupal at home to Macedon, of course, in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, so this is the normal game that should be scheduled. Um, again, as I said, they'll, um, Macedon will have some restrictions. So most probably it's Chloe Wilson, who they won't have. Um, uh, Sovereigns have a hard game against Geelong the next day, so they'll be wanting her to, to rest. Um, Masson have just had the ability to bring other players in to, to cover those those absences, as well, though, but um, do you know what? I'm just going to go for an upset. I think Rupo's young kids, I think they're due to have a breakthrough. I'm going to go Rupo for Masson's first loss for the year. I'm going to jump. I'm going to stick with Masson on this one. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm just going to, because I think, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's hard to go through a season... Um, Undefeated, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. You know, I'd love to go through a season undefeated. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but I just think it's that close. I think Dyes most probably would be doing the homework, and it just depends who Macedon can bring in. But we'll see. I'm just going to take the punt. I think I'm just going to throw caution to the win, Yendi. A valuable win for Macedon on the road is what I'll be uh, sticking to. Kim, thanks so much for joining us on this week's edition of the Artie for Netball Show. We look forward to catching you later on. No worries. Hey.